For those of you guys that um, watched the last video on the basic scanning, um, I talked a little bit about original settings and separate scan. So um, there's a setting in here when you need to run mixed originals, and it's under the original settings tab. And what you want to do, there's an option for same width and different width. And basically all that means, for example, this would be same width where you have letter size paper and tabloid paper that's the same width. Now, when you throw an 8.5 by 14 in there, that would be different width. So you need to make that distinction when you're getting ready to scan mixed pages. If you don't, if you would pop these all three of these pages in the document feeder at one time, it would all scan these pages as 11 by 17. So you want to be careful with that. That way, um, if you make that selection before you scan, when you get to your PC, the legal will scan as legal, the letter will scan as letter, and the 11 by 17 will scan as 11 by 17. This is where you're going to turn on your original settings. So you just tap the tab there. This is what I was talking about. Here's your same width, and here is different width. So remember, those are the options that you have when you're running mixed paper. Now, there's also a little tab on this same tab called Long Original. This will allow you to scan up to a 39-inch document. And once you make your selection, just turn touch OK, and you're ready to go. So now I'm going to show you guys how to use a separate scan. So the first thing you do is select your destination, and you come down here and you turn on your separate scan. So what I've got, I've got a document that has some single-sided pages, and then I've got a document or a losing lottery ticket that won't go through the document feeder. Then I have a two-sided document, but I want this all to go as one big file. Normally what you do is take a copy of this, place it in here, break this out into singles, and then run it all through. But using the separate scan, it lets me run things in batches and puts it in memory till I'm finished. So I'm going to start off with my single-sided pages here first. And then I'm just going to touch start. And it tells you exactly what it's doing. The copier says it's now scanning. And you'll notice that you have two originals in your memory. It tells me next to load the next original and press start. So now I can open the lid, place my document up in the left-hand corner, touch start again, and your number of originals goes up to three. And again, it tells me load the next original and press start. Now. Now I've got a two-sided document. So in order to scan that two-sided, I have to tell the copier that I'm changing from single-sided to double-sided. So all I need to do, do is go down to where it says Change Settings, and I want to come in here where it says Originals are one-sided, and I'm going to say that they're now two-sided. Put my document in the feeder. You notice my button is blue. I can touch OK, or I can go straight to Start. And you'll notice pops up to five. So what that does, it allows me to use the feeder, the glass, and I can toggle between single-sided and double-sided. And then when I'm finished, it tells me exactly what to do. It says when scanning is complete, touch finish, press start to start my transmission. So now that all went as one big file. Another way that that's really handy, your separate scan, if you have more than 100 pages, your document feeder holds 100 pages, but if you have a document that you need to scan that's more than 100 pages, if you turn that separate scan on, it'll allow you to keep feeding the document feeder after you run those 100 pages, and it'll keep it together all as one big file. 